Oh, it's a very special day, Princess. Today, Prince Philip of the Pearl Kingdom will shoot the silver arrow into the sky to find the window of his intended bride. Perhaps luck will guide it your way. Then tomorrow you'll be handing the silver arrow to the prince at your wedding. Someone else will be the bride tomorrow. I recognize the thief. It was Bezel, that mercenary sorcerer. He can take the shape of any animal, and he'll sell his skills to the highest bidder. I'm sure he's working for someone evil. Be careful. My employer warned me you wouldn't give up easily. This is your last warning, your highness. If you keep going, you're going to get hurt. Oh, that poor dog. I see you're going to ignore my advice and set out on a journey. Well, at least take this book. It belonged to your great-grandmother. She was a great healer. There is a secret room in this tower where your great-grandmother used to create her medicines. You should find it so you can help Skye. Take this horn. It will grant you access to the room. Well, you'd better stay out of my business, princess, or you'll regret it. Hi there, I'm Romus, the Ling Beast. I speak every language in the world. I even speak the language of animals. I'll help you out, princess. Pain is so bad, I am even having trouble talking. You've relieved me of my pain, your highness. But I'm afraid I won't be able to walk until my paw is straightened and bandaged. I am grateful to you for taking care of me. The panther that attacked me smelled funny, like human skin and perfume. I will help you, and then I will walk with you as far as my wounded leg will permit. Didn't I say you'd get hurt if you kept going? You should have listened. I'm glad I got here in time. Mortis sent that shape-shifting mage to get rid of you. She came to the Pearl Castle and claimed to have the Silver Arrow. I hope it's not true. But if it is, my father says I have to marry her. All other kingdoms will be in great danger if I don't. We have 24 hours to make things right. We must catch up with Basil and get the Silver Arrow away from him. We are tired of eating the same kind of wood every day. It's sour. We want something new for a change. I need some rest because my leg still hurts. Now that you have someone who can protect you, you will not need my help anymore. I am going back home. Good luck, princess. Ah, how did I manage to fall into this wolf trap? 
Don't waste your time. I said I'd deliver the silver arrow to my client, and that's what I'm going to do. I'd have done it already if I hadn't gotten stuck in my own trap. You helped me, and I'm grateful. But business is business, and our next meeting will be our last. That was Basil! Quick, let's get him! I can't kill Basil. Kingdom tradition prohibits me from battle before the wedding. I'll have to trick him into giving me the silver arrow. Cats fear fire. Let's make some burning arrows and chase him away! You know, owls hate crows. Maybe we can persuade the owl to help us. I'll help you out, princess. <laughs> You're late. She'll be here any minute. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I tried to settle this peacefully, but I guess we have to do it the hard way. It's time to face facts, princess. Philip is going to marry me. I must kill you. I must. Run, princess. I cannot disobey my orders. Thank you for saving me from Mortis, your highness. Take this with my gratitude. But the pesky witch is still holding my brother prisoner. Will you help him? I have not been called on by a ruler of the Griffin Kingdom in over 100 years. I am Mertzella, the guardian. Don't let my size fool you. I grow to impressive heights if fed properly. But as you can see, I can't carry you right now. You'll need to find another way to get to the other side. Your princess is dead. She was torn apart by my minions in the forest. There's no point in resisting. Just say you'll marry me and I'll release you. You don't really think you can make me do this, do you, Mortis? I would have only married you to save my bride's life. But now, you can forget it. Let's see what you do when your father's life is at stake. Or better yet, the entire kingdom. My name is Alba. I'm a prisoner of Mortis. I'd love to talk, but I have a terrible earache. The pain is so bad, I am even having trouble talking. Mortis, is that you? Don't forget, if you don't marry Prince Philip and set us free, you'll never be anything more than a pathetic ex-sorceress. Mortis has regained her powers. You must find a way to protect yourself from the evil magic. Follow Mortis through the portal and find Electra, the Sea Witch. She'll help you. Farewell, and thank you. I just can't swim with these barnacles stuck to my tail. Prince Philip usually helps me get rid of them, but he hasn't been here in a while. And my skin is getting so dry. Would you mind pouring some water on me? You're very kind. I wonder, since Prince Philip isn't here, maybe you can help me with these pesky barnacles too. Thank you. Here, take this in return, and consider yourself a true friend of the sea. I'm glad you made it, Your Highness. Please, take a look into my crystal ball. Long ago, a griffin sorcerer named Lothar discovered why there was so much anger and hostility in the world. People had been corrupted by three vices, wrath, greed, and cowardice. 
He created a spell to trap the three vices in a magic chest. Peace has reigned over the world ever since. The first task of each future queen of the kingdom is to renew the seal on the chest with the silver arrow. But when there is no future queen, Lothar's seal gets weaker, and the entities inside the chest are able to corrupt humans. That is what happened to Mortis. The evil entities promised to grant her wish if she set them free, and she'll be able to do that as the future queen. After the wedding, she can break the seal on the chest and the world will be plunged into darkness again. In exchange for setting them free, the evil entities helped Mortis get some of her powers back. We can't let her regain her full power. I'll make a potion that will protect you from her magic. This is the recipe. Please, bring me the ingredients. I cannot grant your request, Princess. I am so hungry. I have something to tell you. I'm going to marry Mortis. She's exactly the kind of woman I've always dreamed of. Strong, beautiful. Give me the silver arrow and go home. What? You won't give me what's mine? Well then, for the love of my future queen, I'm prepared to kill a silly princess. It sounds like Mortis has used a spell of submission. I can make an amulet of freedom, but I'll need a precious metal. Gold will do fine. Here, Your Highness. Use this to free the poor soul under the witch's control. Good luck. Oh, I'm free again. Thank you. But you must hurry. Mortis is already at the Pearl Castle. Philip is strong, but he can't fight her magic forever. Take this protective potion, Your Highness. As soon as you add some water from the silver fountain, it will be ready. Your love for Prince Philip may be put to the test soon. Don't lose faith. Come back to me if you encounter anything strange and mysterious. Thank you for bringing me the silver arrow. This is just what I needed. And now I'm going to deal with your precious princess. Sit back and enjoy the show, Philip. Princess of the Griffin Kingdom and Prince Philip of the Pearl Kingdom, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Go on, princess. Place a seal on the chest. It is your right as our future queen. Together at last, my love. Someday, you will be the greatest queen the Pearl Kingdom has ever known. <laughs>